A bubble bath bath bomb? I finally found one that works. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. I'm Sherry and this is Buddy, the top dog from Lucky Dog Creations. Hello everyone. Today we are going to be making bubble bath bath bombs. What are those? Well, it is actually a bath bomb that has bubble bath in it. So when you drop it into the bath water, it will actually bubble like a bubble bath instead of just fizz like a bath bomb. Now I've checked the internet, YouTube for recipes because I wanted to be making these for a long time and I haven't really found anything that worked for me. A lot of bubble bath bombs were just actual bath bombs and they called them bubble bath bombs. The few that I found were either too wet of ingredients or too dry of ingredients. And so I've tried some of those and some of them seemed like they were the right consistency until I put them into the mold. Then as they were drying they started to foam up and um, the bath bomb round molds started uh, more or less exploding out of the mold. So I tried some that didn't have much liquid in it and they looked like they were going to work too because they started to activate with the ba bubble bath like the other ones did. So I thought, well, this will work. And they did retain their shape until I took them out of the mold and then they ended up just with powder. So with experimenting, I think I found the perfect bubble bath bath bomb. Okay, so this is actually only a half of a batch I usually make a full batch which makes about four or five uh, bath bombs. This one will only make two, maybe three. So you want to take a half a cup of baking soda and a fourth a cup of cornstarch. Whoops. and stir that up. That's Buddy drinking in the background if you hear that slurping sound. Okay, and then we'll take some mica powder. This is some kind of a reddish rose color. And you can add as much as you like because it is a dry ingredient. I might add more later. And then just mix that up. And now if I just did this and nothing else, this would be what you'd be calling blooming. You bloom the colors and what that is is that you put the mica powder in with the baking soda and then just let it sit until it's um, really dry and then the colors will come out a little bit more. Some people like to wait a couple of days. I'm not going to be waiting that long and I'm not here to show you blooming anyway so that doesn't really matter. But on the same aspect I'm going to be adding the bubble bath. This is raspberry flavored or scented. I uh, got it at Walmart for three or four dollars. Uh, we'll be putting in one teaspoon. And the reason why we do this is because it seems to activate even after it's in the mold. So if we put it in the dry ingredients, stir it all up till it's absorbed, and then let it set for several hours to make sure that it's dry, and then add the rest of the ingredients, it seems to work. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and stir it up and mix it up until it is fully incorporated and then I'll see you back here in a couple of hours. Okay so I think this is um, dry and powdery enough that we can go ahead and go along and continue. I am going to add a little bit more coloring. Um, it is not very dark. If I can get it open. Now I'm not going to add any essential oils because the bubble bath does have 
a raspberry scent to it. You could add essential oils to go along with the scent of your bubble bath. That's totally up to you. I'm mixing in the color and then we're going to go ahead and have a fourth cup of citric acid. Now remember the citric acid and the baking soda is what activates the fizz in bath bombs when you add the liquid to it. That's why we did the bubble bath with the baking soda beforehand so we won't have that activation. Okay, so that looks like that's mixed up pretty good. And then I'm going to do two teaspoons of water and again you want to put it in slowly because it's going to start to activate. So we just do a drip at a time and then hurry up and mix. Another drip and hurry up and mix. And I'll go ahead and continue to do this and then we'll go ahead and put them in the molds. Okay so the consistency is looking pretty good. It's a little bit drier than than I usually like but again with the bubble bath sometimes it does like to activate when it's in the mold so a little bit drier isn't so bad at all. So you do it like you do the regular bath bombs. You go ahead and put them in and pack them down. And about the only thing different that I do with this recipe compared to a regular bath bomb recipe is I am going to let them dry in the molds for 24 hours. I think that is an important step too because then that way they have time to foam or whatever it needs activate it needs to do while it's in the mold so it will stay together. And put a little bit loose on the top and put them together and then on these ones I do twist just to get them all situated and there you have it and then you go ahead and set that aside for 24 hours and then we will um, check them then and see how they turn out and I'm doing starfish one and flattening that out as I go it looks like I'm only going to get two bath bombs out of this recipe. I am going to try to double my recipe now that I know that it works and see if a, a double batch will actually work as well. Just going to go ahead and put that in there and keep packing it down and might as well use the rest of it. And there you have it. Okay, so I do think this one is ready. Feels nice and hard. It hasn't been 24 hours, and that's one thing I want to stress is the fact that you want to check to see. Make sure that it's not adhered to the side of the mold or it's going to be hard to get out. Check it periodically and see the hardness of it and then go ahead and take it out. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try this one. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and do the other bubble bath bomb under running water. But this one we're going to go ahead and just put it in the bowl of water and see how it turns out. So here goes. And look at the bubbles. 
bath bombs just normally just fizz. This one with the bubble bath in is actually coming up with like little soap bubbles. Okay, we'll go ahead and let that bubble up a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and try the, the round bubble bath bomb under the running water. Okay, so it is all done with the fizzing and the bubbling and you can see that it does have a nice pink to it. Um, I'm very happy with that. Like I said, the main thing that you want to do is check your bath bombs uh, periodically when they're in the molds. Make sure that they're not adhering really hard against the sides of the mold because then they're hard to get out kind of pull them away sometimes and um, if they seem nice and hard you tap them and it's hard then they're probably ready and then you won't have to wait the 24 hours the ones that I did yesterday I did have to wait 24 hours they turned out really well but the ones today were a little bit tough okay to so I'm getting ready to put this in under running water I hope that you can hear me over the water. And I'm going to go ahead and put this bubble bath bath bomb in the sink to see how well it will bubble. So let's see. And as you can see, it is actually acting like bubble bath does. It is foaming, you know, doing the bubbles more so than the fizzing and as soon as it hits the water it foams even more or bubbles even more i am very pleased with this this one does not have as much pink in it because this is the one that i did uh last night but all in all i'm i'm very very happy with it okay so i think that this uh bath bomb made with bubble bath is a success. I will enclose the recipe down below. Uh, please subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to see more of what I plan on doing in the future. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. Just I need to know whether you like them or don't like them, why you don't like them, why you do like them. If you have any comments or suggestions, those are always welcome. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.